Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor by Past Life Pro, and for this video, I thought I'd make a tutorial on adjusting water transparency for the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Explanation aside, I did forget to formally mention this in my water colorizing tutorial, so I will be toying around with the idea right now. So, let's get started. Alright, first have the SUS shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore water dot fsh. Using notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, we're going to scroll down to line 353. Just ahead of those all too familiar RGB values, you'll find these two numbers, both separated by that division sign. 210.0f, the number on the left, is what will allow us to adjust how see-through the water can be. For those that would like to make the water less transparent, Larger numbers ranging up to 255.0f, which is the highest you can go, will do the trick. Lower numbers on the other hand will not really make the water any more see-through. It mainly just take away the actual color of the water. Another thing worth mentioning is the more the value is increased, the more the underlying texture itself will begin to show. In light of that, I will be going with 230.0f as my chosen value. But just so you, the viewer, get a good idea of what you'd be comfortable with, I will be showing off a comparison between a couple different variations, so don't you worry. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. If this how-to water transparency tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!